So, let's take a look in the big box. Right, we're back after getting through that lot. If this is his shoe box, he must be a big fella. So, hmm. More newspaper. Lots of newspaper. Now, do you recall I got those really nice Walthers, Norfolk and Southern weathered, fitted with loads, coal hoppers a while back? Well, I think it was 10 last time, he listed some more, and I quickly made a move, and as you can tell, I was successful in acquiring some more rocking horse <laughs> doo-doo, <laughs> in some nicely weathered North and Seven, nicely weighted cool hoppers. Are shedding their their crumbs a bit, but never mind. Let's get him out and have a look. So a quick run by. Those sort of less weathered ones, and uh, hopefully we don't send them off the table. These ones. At the back, so eight in total, and uh, the other six at the back there, which are different style of hopper but similar sort of size. So, uh, building a reasonable rate now. Well, hot off the back of the last one, well, the next day anyway. I think I've missed two because we've just got back from the wheelchair clinic as the uh, Hermes Ivory bloke left. So two that I was expecting from China I ain't going to see today but uh, Royal Mail have delivered these two not quite sure what's in this one little peanuts and not the salty type so I've been on a bit of a binge buy for small motorised independent um, bogies I guess you could call them <coughs> And this is one of them. Um, this is one of those little 3D printed, I think they were American, a bit like uh, Brian had on his NARM layout. Except this is um, double O gauge, not N gauge. So I wasn't too worried about that bit there is one person selling one of these on there and that's about 30 or 40 pound i was interested in this little marvelous thing uh ten shodo wb31 now it's got the larger wheels on it they do one with smaller wheels which is probably going to be i think i can probably pull these wheels off and they sort of sell these to motorised chassis on trams and uh, bits and pieces. This looks like it might have had a little work done by separating the feed to the motor from the wheel pickup because it's normally direct connection so obviously a bit awkward to DCC it. But I won another one that was a bit more money but it comes with two Lay's DCC chips. So that's inbound, another one of these. So you'll have to wait and see what I've got in store for these little things. Um, should it work. If not, we'll have an armoured car to protect the fiddle yard. But um, yeah, there's that. There'll be another one coming at some stage. I think they did message me because it's some kind of charity man shed type thing and uh, the person who's... Um, got the items is on holiday so they can't post them yet so they wanted to know if I wanted to cancel or wait so I said fine I'll wait now staying on that subject I have also got um, 
some die cast. I think the company that make them street scenes, I think they're called. They've gone out of business now, I think. But, uh, they do do some for die cast um, trams and things like that. So I managed to pick one up on eBay um, for a lot less than a couple of the buy it nows were. And I've managed to find another company with one, although I had a little bit of a fallout with them. Uh, but I'll, I'll alliterate on that, or elaborate, when that turns up. Well, I say fallout, I just, they ask for your opinion, so that they can put a testimonial on their website. I don't think they're going to be putting my testimonial on. Not when, um, I must get another blade for those really nice. The postage charge escalated to £17.35 pence for, well, basically the amount of bits would have fitted in a small a small box and gone second class track for £4.19. Um, so I think they need to reevaluate the weight per item per charge. So, talking of weight, this is quite heavy. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll go into that more when uh, when they turn up, if they turn up, if they haven't refunded me because they got the ump. As it was, I took a load of stuff off the order to put the postage back down. And I can't get into these. Uh, I think these are not assembled our fern blue box kits. <coughs> or partly assembled, I'm hoping, I think. They were, mm, I suppose, fair price, a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but I was the only bidder, I think, so I got them for the start bid. I was not gambling whether to leave it and hope they relisted them at £5 less, but I thought, well, at the end of the day, five quid. Isn't it? So, we have four identical kits of... American, as you can tell. Um, old stock, but unused uh, grain hoppers in black. Never seen any in black, but um, everything's there that's supposed to be. The two options on the different style of hatches. And uh, the two ends and the weight. And then the foil is the, the base. They're really easy to put together. To my idea, due to the lack of availability of uh, Norfolk and Southern hoppers, is to, now I've got them, I'll have to Google and see if the information, unless one of you guys in the States knows, is what grey it is they use. Um, preferably from, say, like the Vallejo range of paints. Um, so that I can spray them. Norfolk and Southern Grey and uh, <laughs> try and find some decals uh, with the data panels and a Norfolk and Southern logo which ain't going to happen this side of the pond and turn them into Norfolk and Southern hoppers without having to pay the huge premium of uh, more money than a tight ass like me wants to pay. So that's the decks clear for today, as it stands. I don't know how you'd get a DCC chip in there. I don't know how big an N gauge one is. Anyway, I can't find out if that's going to work and what I want because it's in one of my boxes in the other room. So it might have to be a project when. Uh, Everything starts getting moved and the boxes start getting opened. So catch you on the next segmente. Lights, camera, beer. Hmm. So, wetting the whistle. Two today. <clears throat> I've been out, so I should have some the old Hermes or whatever they are now. Every evil should be inbound as well. But. 
So this is another one of those little tin shodo motor bogies. It looks a bit shinier and newer than the other one. £74. My god. Had some usage. I did clean the other one up. It was running like a bag of bolts. Um, jittering along the track. Even though I cleaned up the, the pickups and the wheels. Everything. What it was. When it was sitting on that little armoured car body. It ran even worse than taking this off. Don't know why. I added a couple of wheel weights to it. Runs lovely. Just wasn't enough downforce to give reliable pickup off the rails. So, we have that and all the little accessories that come with it, which I think is just like a little coupling arm or something you can attach to it to fit. There's some shims there, I presume, if you can put some kind of coupling on it. I will have to download the destructions, but with this one, came, well they have both got eight pins on them and a plug, a couple of Lay's DCC chips, which are... They're a tenner each, so I've well, punted a little bit more money for that one because I do want to try and DCC these chassis. You just have to disconnect that rail. You don't even have to go inside, just Dremel the pickup rail and solder the wires off. So, hopefully, that will be a while coming or anything, but uh, I've got them. Should the uh, 3D exploits expand in the future? Put one car in a box diagonally to fit it in. chip bulk hopper I did try and get another two from Rails of Sheffield but someone else went and bought them after I'd got this Christ they're massive uh, they must be big old boys when you see them on the rails that's just a hopper for wood wood chippings hence the size of it because there's no weight uh, minimum radius 24 inch curve there's going to be a lot of fourth radius curves on my layout. 7,000 cubic feet wood chip hopper. That is a fair old bit of volume. Wouldn't want to move that by shovel. Not and shovel anyway. So that's it till the next bit.